Hey, nice to have you back on the channel. I hope you're doing great and have a good day. A lot of people ask me, I always start with that sentence. Many people ask me how I do my kick rumble situation. And uh, a lot of times I think, uh, what they actually mean? Like how I side chain my stuff? Because this is for me mixing. I guess what I can show is the patterns and how many kicks I use, because that makes actually the big difference here so that your sound sounds less like this. Way more interesting like this. The main thing is that in the beginning you start to make techno and you're like, you make a 4-4 kick, you make a bass line, make some 16 hi-hats and some, I don't know, melody or hypnotic sound or whatever. And it's just this like boom chuck, boom chuck, boom chuck. Uh, a little bit later I personally realized that there's a lot of uh, more going on in the mid-range than actually just a kick. Sometimes that can be like... Uh, FX sound or some samples that just like rolling uh, in the low mids like 100 hertz. You can choose whatever you want. In my case, I just want to show you quick and easy what I always do. And uh, let me see if you learn something from it. Like I said, uh, you can make just a 4 4 kick, uh, the classic bassline pattern here. And sure, you have then this sound here. Boom, 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 no? But it's a bit boring. Um, what I do is I have a 4-4 four four kick to give the groove. Then I have a bass line. Uh, then I have a, a second kick that I have like this off time. So when we solo the stuff, I have like this uh, kick going on. And then this like off bounce. Uh, of course I use kick two here, but you can use whatever you want. I just like that as a kick synthesizer. Uh, and you see, like, I changed the, the patterns here a bit. So my kick is like this, and I pitch it low. Uh, and then when you go to this kick, I just make the click a bit less. So it's like, I don't know, not completely the same kick. And then you, you can play with that pattern how you want. Like, you can go... Right? So I like this patterns today. And then I look at this pattern, like, okay, this, 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 and this, we don't use. In this case, we also have this ones. So I paint around this, the baseline. So the one, never have something because the one is the 4-4 four, four kick, right? And then we have this off kicks here between. I also leave that blank just to have like that convenient thing that every time a, a kick is stopping to play, there's a new element coming in. So in our case, when we put all this three together, we have this rumble instantly that works. And this double kicks just give this offbeat. It just gives this like, and that gives so much groove. All the elements that you put after, just groove with it. So, without that element. If you just make that pattern, like the first one, it's a classic techno pattern. But if we say we, we do this, yeah, I think you get what I mean. And then, yeah, put some hypnotic sound. In this case, I show you. I just put like a phaser, a grand delay, and a convolution reverb on some random sample that I have here. I think without this, we have just this.
Yeah. And that's actually uh, the trick. So you can go creative with this, but like play with more uh, kick layer. You can have three kicks, four kicks, five kicks, whatever. You don't need a baseline. You can also have just a lot of kicks. You will get gritty and groovy uh, techno tracks. Simple like that. I just wanted to answer that question because uh, pe people ask me again and again and again in, in the Discord channel, for the Patreons and uh, yeah, whatever. That's out now. A little bit uh, stressed with work in the moment, so that's why I don't can make so many videos like the last week's. But uh, we got this. Right. Have a blessing evening or day. And uh, we see us very soon. Maybe with some Bitwig videos. Maybe with some Ableton. We will see. Bye.